Hi everyone! So I am very excited to have this video and to share with you some of the brow mapping tips, secrets, and basically go over what our brow mapping course includes because myself, and I know it's been a huge struggle to not only to draw the shape but also to keep the shape after the numbing cream during the procedure and all the struggles with where to place your brow where should be the front should you draw the arch or the soft arch how low or how high should be the eyebrow and another batch of problems is how to make the eyebrows even and how to copy one side to another side and that's why my first online course is brow mapping just to show you step by step tons of videos in a very good order for you to know learn and practice in our facebook private group so let me first start with introducing our private facebook group so why this course is really great is because of the support our students receive. So not only this helps my students, but also actually based on my students feedback, I improved the course, I added more videos. So it's not that the course is fixed and this is what you get. This course will be always updated based on your feedback, questions or anything I you think I've missed and etc. So I've added tons of videos up in here just by basically uh, feedback from my students so this is the group and i can see already uh, the students had submitted their homework by the way really nice so i will be reviewing their brows now so this course actually have several sections so in the first section we will be reviewing the brow mapping tools because brow mapping tools is really important is not only it's not every brow pencil will work or not every tool you have to really know what tools you should get for the brow map maybe why do you need to dip the pencil into the liquid or why for instance you really need to use green soap where where does the green soap help in the brow mapping so the tools is a key and the base for your brow maybe then i will talk about how to install and use the fee brows application but prior to few brows application of course we will go through the steps of brow mapping because without the precise steps of brow mapping your mapping will be really messy with really messy lines and the brow application the fee brow application will not help you out now in the next uh, sections couple of sections i will be showing step by step guide how to map the brows on real client and i will show also different brow mapping techniques with the sticker ruler without the sticker ruler with fee brow tools and etc and for different cases of brows for instance this case is really difficult her eyebrows are completely sparse moreover her skin is a little bit loose so this is a difficult case now in the next section we have even the section about sticker ruler but in the next section her this side is always moves so how to deal about the case when the brow is always moving and also her eyebrows are quite sparse so how to figure out where to position the front of the brow where should be the arch where should be the teal how low or, or how high should be the whole eyebrow so it's really the reason why i really like courses versus for instance youtube definitely youtube has a lot of information but nobody will put so much energy for instance i had sleepless nights just to make this brow course complete to put all everything structure logically so it's really understandable for you and you can follow all the steps and then in the next section is really important section where we will be talking about how to copy difficult curves of the brows so how to go about copying the lower arch curve and the teal and etc but the most uh, part that you should be studying and watching is how to keep the shape after the numbing cream so i've tried different method myself and keeping the shape after numbing cream really 
uh, is necessary and keeping the shape during the procedure is really necessary. So these videos will be showing you how to keep the shape so you won't lose your shape. And then this section I love the most because here I am reviewing my students submitted pictures. Each of this video has so much value because you are going to see different brow cases and how I draw the brows for different cases. For this case, then we are reviewing. For this case, for instance, my student draw the brow thicker, right? And then I suddenly told her, no, you know, you should draw this in this way. And I explained to her why and how she can from this shape improve and make thicker based on her client's preference so it's a really guide step by step or for instance i quite like uh this review where i talk about so what should be the proper thickness of the brow what should be the position of the brow right whether we should do the arch or the soft arch how to fix all these edgy a lower curve how to avoid you see i've changed here so just showing you the real me drawing the brows the real questions and answering those i even actually show here the uh brow mapping patterns for instance for microblading that i would do by the way this course is for shading and for microblading for any procedures you do this course is fits so these are tons of i f even for this case uh having these sparse eyebrows how to draw the shape it's really step by step so you will have the clear understanding and it, it will not feel feel like a mess to you and then the last part we have a drawing shapes on the paper so i am showing here how to recreate any shape that you found the pretty shapes from the internet on pretty girls that you wish to know how to draw or how to recreate on your clients so here i teach different shapes the flat asian eyebrow shape the arched the high arch everything we are recreating on paper and this is something uh, the homework for my students to do and in this section we are uh, this is the fibra application again and in this section i am teaching just how to draw the brows on the client's uh pictures where there's no eyebrows at all so how do you position the brow how do you know the front basically if you watched the previous videos before that you are by now definitely would know how to position the front the arch the tail uh how to copy to another side every everything details so basically this part is summing sum up all that we've learned and giving you the homework so you will be practicing your um, drawing the shapes you will be practicing your mapping and you also uh, submit to Facebook and we together can review your pictures. I am, I'm, guys, I'm really, really excited and I strongly recommend to take this course, not only if you're a beginner, for anyone, even if you are advanced in your procedure, but you have still some struggles with the brow maybe. And I want to point out that this course is not always open so the doors are closing soon the reason why we do not keep the doors open is because we want to work tightly with each student in our facebook group so i'm not sure when the next class will be open it depends on my current group so if you want to learn now i suggest to enroll now and there's nothing more uh better than get your skill updated right now so i really hope to see you there and can't wait to see you in our private facebook group and can't wait to see you improve your mapping skills and get them to a pro professional professional level and as always see you on my instagram on facebook youtube and yeah <laughs> Bye.